Ooh, ooh, hello, hyperspace. My name is Devontos, and it's time to get hyped because Devontos has returned. You thought I was finished. <laughs> Never! So, Devontos wants to cover a few things in this video. You see, I got some new background music. Devontos has a new profile picture on YouTube. And I got a new theme song that's going to be my permanent theme song, and I'm never going to change it. Because I always used to change my theme songs. I change it like four times. But this new one, that's going to play at the end of the video, will probably be my permanent theme song. And it's never changing. So, I want to cover something really quick on this video. Devontos is trying to get his YouTube game back up there. I have a couple things set for YouTube, a couple ideas for YouTube, and I'm going to try to upload at least one video a week, at most three videos a week. No set schedule as of yet. However, I'm going to record two videos today. This is my first recording. There's going to be another one right afterwards, so you guys can guarantee to have two videos this week about multiple topics because you know how Devontos' thoughts do. Now, for today's Devontos' thoughts, I want to cover something simple, something very easy for my you know, return back to YouTube, and I want to cover cross-platform play. You know how that goes, do you have... Minecraft does it, I think Fortnite does it, and now Overwatch does it, man. This cross-platform play, it's a little... Hmm. It could be good, it could be bad, depending on the game that has it. Minecraft is completely fine, however, I don't think cro cross-platform play is a good idea for skill-based games. Specifically games like shooters. Now, sk shooters, may maybe fighting games, I'm not too sure, but let's just, just cover shooters for now. With shooters, like, uh, let me use Overwatch. Um, today, Overwatch introduced cross-platform play. It's still on beta, and it's still being tested, but you can see a huge difference. Now, you guys know when you used to play Overwatch back in the day, the majority of you guys would usually lose every single match. And now that cross-platforms play, you're either going to be steamrolling a win, or just uh, straight-up defeat. And the reason for that is because of cross-platform play. Plus, <coughs> use the Fontos, he got the coffees! So, let me separate these different platforms so it will be easier to understand. I'm just talking as a majority of these gamers on such platforms. Most people who play on PC are... The older audience, while well, most people who play on Nintendo, tend to be the younger audience. And then PlayStation and Xbox is somewhere in the middle. Now, I'm pretty sure we got some adults on Nintendo as well. But as the majority, it's kids on Nintendo. And, you know, same thing with PC. The majority is usually adults, because adults are the ones who know how to work on computers. So, that's where it gets a little troublesome. Because if you're playing Overwatch and you got cross-platform play... You don't know who's going to be on the enemy side. Now, granted, it was like that before cross-platform play, but if you're strictly playing on Nintendo, chances are you and the enemy side will have nothing but kids, because Nintendo is more catered towards kids. And same thing if you were on PC for adults, so on and so forth. With this cross-platform issue, you're going to have either... You're going to have, like, a whole hodgepodge of a bunch of different people playing, and it's going to affect your playstyle. So... You may get a team that's full of a bunch of kids on Nintendo. And the enemies may have a team that's full of a bunch of teenagers on Xbox and adults on PC. Obviously the enemies are going to win that one. Now don't get me wrong, some kids know how to play, but I'm saying as a majority. Keep that in mind, this entire video is going to be focusing on a majority of the console gamers and PC gamers. Another thing that's going to wind up affecting the game is hackers. Now, we all know there was like the Blizzard or whatever game companies like, We're going to try to stop these hackers, but... You know, they, they can't do that. You know, they can't do that. So, you know, how does this, how do I say this? They said cross-platform play is going to work as such. If you have a controller connected to your PC, I mean like a gaming controller, like a PlayStation controller, you're going to be paired with console players because everybody's using a controller. However, there are a lot of mods, a lot of hacks, a lot of ways around it to make your PC think you're using a gaming controller when you're usually just using mouse and keyboard. And, I mean, let's face it, using mouse and keyboard is way easier to aim than using a controller. Hence why Widowmaker is so ridiculously powerful on, on PC and most of the time Widowmaker's trash on console. Same thing for Ana, same thing for McCree, and so on. So, Eventually, I don't know if that's happening right now, but it's going to happen. Eventually, you're going to have these people who find these hacks and cheats and just their ways around this this uh, console PC setup so they can use a mouse and keyboard or at least a mouse to aim and a controller to shoot when they play these shooter games. 
And then you're gonna have these one-trick Doom Fists or these one-trick McCrees, and they delete everybody. And the people who are using consoles, we they ain't got no chance. Let's face it, we ain't got no chance because it's more difficult to aim with controller. I actually want to cover two things really quick before I continue on with this cross-platform play. You guys may notice I sound a little bit different, that's because I got a brand new mic. That's one of the new things that Wanto's got as well. New background music, new microphone, new theme song, new profile picture, new everything! And... That's something else you might hear me doing. A lot of inhaling as I speak. It sounds like I'm out of breath. That's because I'm getting kind of tired. Because Devontos has the tendency to pace back and forth as I record. And I've been pacing back and forth for a while before I started recording, which is why you hear me I'm kind of out of breath. It's just a habit. Helps me think. Helps me process my thoughts better. Helps my recording sound better. It's all good for Devontos. Now, back to this platform play. I feel like this platform play is going to... It's probably just a fad for now. You know, a lot of people have this cross-platform play enabled. But if they keep doing this to a lot of games, it's either going to bring the community together for specific titles and hurt the gaming community over, you know, other titles. Like shooters. However, as I said with Minecraft, cross-platform play is completely fine with Minecraft because it's an adventure game. There's no skill needed. You know, you're all shooting or killing AIs like the creepers and the skeletons. So that's completely fine. But Fortnite... Uh, what, what is it? Fortnite, Call of Duty, Overwatch, just skill-based games, it's not fair. Even fighting games, because fighting games on, um... Fighting games for a controller is easier than playing a fighting game on PC, because you have all the buttons you need right on, you know, the tip of your fingers, while PC you got that whole big-ass keyboard and your finger might slip and press the wrong key. And that's not gonna happen with a controller, at least not all the time. But maybe you have a game that supports both, you know, skill-based gameplay and, uh, versus AI, you know, laid back chill kind of gameplay like Overwatch 2 whenever that game is coming out so let's use Overwatch 2 for example if you're doing the campaign and maybe the campaign is co-op or online play then fine you can have cross-platform play on that because you're all fighting Omnics and robots and AIs and there's not really any skill it's just to you know sit back shoot the computer have a good time however if you're doing Overwatch 2 and you switch over to multiplayer which is where the skill comes into play the game, by default, should disable cross-platform plays, just to be fair. So if you want to have some fun, which cross-platform play is meant to be fun, you play single-player. If you want to, you know, get sweaty and go full try-hard and have a fair chance against everybody across the board, hop on multiplayer, disable cross-platform play. It's very simple. I don't know why they didn't really think of this, but, I mean, there's nothing really to do about it unless people start complaining and then they listen. And it gets even deeper than cross-platform play. Let's say, for example, you're playing on PC and you are using a controller. And you just wanted to use a regular PlayStation Xbox controller and play with the console buddies. Console buddies have no choice but to use a controller. You can go to your PC settings and lower the graphics. And what that does is it deletes the minor details. Let's use Call of Duty, for example. When you guys are playing on console in Call of Duty, you can have a ghillie suit and you can hide in a little shrub, a little bush on the floor. And you think you're safe. However, a PC guy shows up and his graphics is set to the minimum. Little tiny details that don't really matter, like that little shrub you're hiding in, disappears. So the PC guy would literally just see a ghillie guy laying on a flat ground, simple kill. But in your mind, on console, you think you're hiding in a bush. Now, I already know what the PC guys are thinking. The PC guys are saying one of three things. PC is the most superior gaming console. Yes, it is, because everything's made on PC. It's made for the device you're playing it on, so it's going to be more superior. And then it's dumbed down for the console players, because we like to play on console. The same way you like to play on PC and don't like playing on console, is the same way we like playing on console, but don't like to play on PC. It goes either way. Now then they can say, why don't you just get a PC? I don't know, why don't you just get a console? And the last thing PC guys love to say this, is they say, It's because console gamers ain't got no skill! Let me ask you something. You're really good in your PC games. You play Call of Duty, you play Overwatch, you know, them skill-based games, Fortnite or whatever. So let's use Overwatch for example. You playing Overwatch using a very accurate player like a Widowmaker, and you snapping headshot after headshot like you're playing a point-and-click game. Put down the mouse. Get yourself a PlayStation controller, or Xbox controller, whatever your PC take. And then just hook it on, take Widowmaker, and I want you to play just as good using a controller on your very first game. It's impossible. And it goes the same way for console gamers too. You have people who are beasting on console, playing Overwatch Top 500, Grandmaster, who knows, and then you just take away their controller, and you give them a mouse and keyboard, you're gonna be trash! They don't know what to do. They're gonna go from like Grandmaster all the way down to Silver, maybe even Bronze. 
So that's why I mean it's a really bad idea to have cross-platform play on skill-based games, because if you want to focus on the console side, they have to worry about either trashy PC players who never really picked up a controller before, or they have to worry about PC hackers who found a way around the, you know, plug in your controller and play and they kind of switch it around and use a mouse instead. On the PC standpoint, it's not going to be fair for them because they're going to be playing with people who've been using controllers for years and they're beasting while the PC guys still gotta get used to the controller. It's, it's just, it's not a good idea. That's all for this video, a quick Devonto's thoughts, just wanted to get out there because Overwatch got some cross-platform play on today and I was playing a couple of games and I've noticed that. And I have played other pl uh, cross-platform games before and it's all the same. It's gonna happen in the future with the hackers and cheaters. So, if you like this video, punch that like button with a mighty force. If you don't like this video, punch that dislike button with a mighty force, I don't care, at least you want us. And you can subscribe if you want more content, unsubscribe if you don't like my content, I don't care. And I'll see all of you in the next video, which is coming in a couple of days. And if you want to hear my new theme song, stay to the end of the video. Have a nice day.